Hey there folks, Foggy here. Welcome to day 169 of my year of solo board gaming, considered by many to be ill-advised and stupid. We are going to do uh, two more games of Sentinels of the Multiverse, Def Definitive Edition. Uh, we're going to play against Omnitron, and then we're going to do one game against Matriarch. Uh, a couple rules clarifications that I was able to find out uh, through, uh, through just reading the rule book a little bit more carefully. Uh, first of all, uh, one thing I really haven't noted is whether or not uh, the villains have a nemesis icon. Uh, and... For example, there's a nemesis icon on this that actually is not an icon of a hero in the game, which is crazy pants. Um, I mean, I've looked for it and I've not seen it anywhere. It, as far as I can tell, it is not. You know, there's there's nobody that has that particular icon, which is weird uh, that that is the case. Uh, I think it might be a location, but I'm not too sure. But I, I should have been paying attention to that because in those instances, heroes and villains will do one more damage to their nemeses than they would their uh, in other normal situations. Uh, and uh, Tempest, for example, does have a nemesis with Voss, and I think that that should have come into play. It didn't really matter because we got our butts kicked in that one. Um, and one other thing is that uh, destroy, and the rule book is very bad about this. It it clearly does not make this specific, but according to some threads I've read on Board Game Geek, uh, destroy should explicitly say uh, a destroy destroy is applies to any card in the play area, or you know, if if you have to destroy a card, you should be destroying it from the play area, not from your hand. That is a huge oversight in the rules, as far as I'm concerned, um, because that is something that I think is is kind of makes sense. It makes complete sense. I think that that is very easy to understand, but it should be explicitly stated because it does feel like at times um, that you know the the odds are stacked against you, and you're deleting your cards. That you, it it helps make it makes it so that trying to set up is really ridiculously difficult. And I'm gonna just quickly set the camera here so that it doesn't uh, continue to shake like that. We are playing up against Omnitron. Omnitron has an, an interesting aspect to it in that at the start of the play phase, it flips over. So it'll flip over and then flip over again and then flip over and flip over. And what this means is that for every, uh, every other turn, it'll either be exterminating or fabricating depending on which side is up. Uh, it'll keep that 100 HP uh, at the start, and then you'll just try to whittle that down. Uh, and then with this one, I believe it is it can it must be the only device in play. It is a device and indestructible, apparently. Uh, that is something worth noting. Sorry, just gonna give me one more moment here. I am making sure that the autofocus is not turned on. There we go. So any sort of like weird wiggly stuff in the in the is, should be gone. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to discover one device card and discover one ongoing card. Uh, and then this is a device, so there's our first device. That's another device, device, ongoing. Okay, so we've got our two ongoing cards, or one ongoing one device. And the device cards have, uh, have HP, the ongoing cards do not but they all have both Exterminate and Fabricate in them. So this will be interesting to try to play against. We are playing with uh, Bunker, Fnatic, and Tempest. Uh, Fnatic is the only one that I haven't played with in the, one of the videos yet, uh, and that is simply because uh, I tried Fnatic in the very first game that I played with the preset Baron Blade version, and that was, that was rough to try to play with her. Uh, she is not easy to play with. All right, and we have to deal out some hands here, so we're gonna give this one more shuffle. We are playing with the uh, older first appearance versions of the Bunker and the Tempest. Uh, and with uh, the Tempest, uh, Tempest can destroy one weather card and then play the top card of its deck. And Bunker can deal one target to melee damage or salvage an item, which is kind of nice. Uh, but this is going to be tricky. I, f I feel like uh, what I, what I what the last couple games have, have taught me is that it's going to be difficult to keep any sort of setup in play because there are going to be cards basically targeting your setup that will just come out really quickly. Um, but let's go ahead and do the start phase. The start phase is discover one device card. Uh, and there's the device, so we don't have to shuffle, thank God. Uh, then we go to the play phase, so we draw one more card, and this is also ongoing. All right, a lot of ongoings here. Uh, and 
we also flip this over. So I should have done that first, then it gets to play a card, now we're in the end phase. Activate the exterminate on each villain card, including any cards that are played on this phase. Uh, so first of all, uh, the hero, uh, this first one, the Electro Pulse Explosive, deals the three hero targets with the highest HP, three lightning damage each, which is banana pants crazy. Let's see how quickly we just lose all our HP this round. And that's down to 22. Destroy one environment card, play the top card of the environment deck. Well, there's no environment card, but we will play the top card of the environment deck. We get Appendage. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, this is going to target the non-environment target with the lowest HP. That'll actually be one of these dudes. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. This card is, oh, it's another, it's going to be another Electro Pulse Explosive. We have two of them out. So we're, we're each getting six damage total. Seems a little imbalanced there, game designers. I haven't even started the game. I'm down to 19 points. Uh, Omnitron deals the two hero targets with the highest HP, three projectile damage each. That's the Electromagnetic Railgun. So I'm now down to 21 there. And 19 there. Well, that was fun. All right, so uh, we're going to go to the play phase for Bunker. Upgrade mode is after this card is played, summon one item card. You cannot use powers. Uh, and during the end phase, you can then play two cards, which is kind of nice. Expendable power bank is interesting. This would help uh, with some damage. I think I'm just simply going to go with this, get the Gatling gun ready, and then use my power. Either Bunker deals one target to melee damage or salvage one item card. Uh, we're going to focus on one of the one of the guns. I, I, we got to take out these weapons, uh, and then we draw a card at the end of this. Okay, so this one. Uh, this is just simply deal two melee damage. This one is not too bad. This is uh, this is deal two melee damage, draw a card, regain two HP. Uh, this would be great. This is destroy one non-character -tar target with four or fewer HP. But unfortunately, that is not going to be helpful because that's still got five HP. So we're going to go with play that. That will allow us to do two more damage over here. Uh, we're then going to get to draw a card and regain two HP. Now we get to use a power. Our power is deals one target melee and radiant, one each. And then uh, we're going to deal one psychic damage to ourselves. We actually hurt ourselves doing that. Then we finally get to draw a card, and that is the end of the turn. Uh, now we're going to go on to Tempest, who is going to look at playing a card. And I think we're going to activate this power. Yeah, we're going to activate that. Um, I am wondering. If we should have gone over here. With that, with the two extra damage, that's going to deal five melee damage to whoever's got the lowest. And we're going to put this at six. This is going to be at three. I kind of feel like this, it doesn't really matter. That will wipe out whichever card, whichever card I don't do. So since this is going to be excess damage anyway, I'm going to do one, two damage here. So I feel like I'm missing some damage somewhere along the lines. Uh, that's two, that's two, that's two. And now I'm going to do some additional damage. Okay, no, no, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, we're going to do 
theoretically speaking, I could have targeted this. I could have played two on there, and that would give me two, two, and two. We're going to do another two damage, and we still end up with one wipe. Yeah, that's actually the best way to do it. Sorry for the for the mulligans here, but by doing the two damage over here, the two damage here, and the two damage here, uh, I sort of set myself better up for the next round. So I've now played this card for Tempest. I get to activate this power. Each non-hero target gets two cold damage. That puts that at four. That puts that at four. And then that puts that at four. And the reason that's important is because we're gonna come out with the end phase we're going to hit here, and then that's going to trigger some stuff as well. But then we draw a card, and now we go to the environment phase. The environment phase, we draw one shot. Discover two ongoing cards. Each hero draws a card. Great. All right, so ongoing. That's not it. Ritual Sanctums. Beak. One shot. Appendage. Appendage. Ongoing. All right. I get the feeling that there are not too many ongoing cards in here. The Crucible is crazy. Okay, so that's now been played. Each hero draws one card. So everyone's going to draw a card. Now we're going to play these two cards. Uh, I'm going to try to do this in a way that I can still get as many environment cards as possible in here, but it's going to be tricky, I think. Uh, after any hero deals fire, cold, lightning, infernal, or radiant damage, add one token to this card. If there are at least 10 tokens on this card, each hero draws three cards and uses one power. Then destroy this card. So that is kind of cool. That's basically, we're going to charge that up. After this card is played, put the top card of each deck under it. Uh, End, end, uh, end phase. Randomly select one card under this phase. Each target associated with that card's deck deals itself three psychic, uh, three fixed psychic damage. Then play the selected card. All right. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take all of them. Uh, it does not say skip the environment deck. Uh, this is gonna be tricky to do, I think, to make sure that we're doing this randomly, so I'm probably going to have call out for numbers. Uh, but the first thing that we're doing is this card deals the non-environment target with the lowest HP, 5 melee damage. And again, this is why I wanted to sort of split up the damage a little bit, where the one with the lowest HP is one of these guns. Uh, so that is going to take 5 damage. I forgot to deal the damage. I forgot to deal damage over here. I forgot that Omnitron was there, so he should have taken 2 cold damage earlier. Doi. That is that is dead. Put that up there in the trash. Off screen, but it's okay. All right, so that's that one. Uh, let's see. That is not going to be applicable. Randomly select one card under this card. All right. Alexa, roll a six-sided dice. I rolled a six-sided die and got five. Okay, so the fifth card is going to be Bunker. Uh, let's see. Each target associated with that card's deck. That's lovely. Uh, he's going to deal himself three fixed damage down to 16. But get, does get to play this. Bunker deals one target three melee damage. If that damage destroys a target, put this card under one ordinance card in play. So we're going to take out this dude. That dude is done, gone. And because it took out a target, we get to put this under as an ordinance for the Gatlin gun. That's pretty good. That is a pretty good turn altogether. I didn't like the damage, but it did. It, it is interesting. I kind of like this Atlantis one. I'm sure it's going to go completely haywire. But we're now on the villain phase. Uh, for the villain phase, discover one ongoing card from the deck. Uh, ongoing, okay. We don't have to do that. Uh, play phase, we're going to flip this. And then we're going to play a card. It is ongoing. It's a flechette launcher. Activate the fabricate on each villain card, including any cards that were played this phase. Fabricate, play the top card of the villain deck. If there are more than three villain ongoing cards in play, destroy one in, um, 
villain ongoing card. If a card is destroyed this way, each hero discards one card. Well, there are, in fact, four ongoing cards, and that is more than the three heroes that we have playing. So I think what we're going to do, we are going to take out the Flechette Launcher, because that would really mess things up. We did. We now have to discard one card each. So taking a look at what I've got over here, I am going to go ahead and discard Expendable Power Bank uh, for... Uh, I'm going to get rid of this Rosary. I think that that is probably the one I want to get rid of. And then over here... Ball Lightning is huge. You may destroy one ongoing card. No brainer. I'm keeping that one. Uh, this is interesting that you get to destroy two environment cards. That means I could destroy that, that appendage up there. That's a good one to keep. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to get rid of Shielding Winds. I, I, it's probably not the best idea to get rid of that one, but of the cards that I have to get rid of, I think that's the one I would rather get rid of. All right, where was I? So, over here. Until the villain start phase, after Omnitron is dealt a type of damage, Omnitron becomes immune to that type of damage for the rest of the turn. So that's going to be fun. Uh, and then discover one device card. Uh, that's ongoing. So let's pull this up. Ongoing, ongoing, device. Uh, over here, each device card regains one HP, can't go over its maximum. Shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. All right, so. I think we want to try to take out that dude, which I think I can do. We're going to go on to Bunker now. Bunker's first card to play. Uh, I kind of feel like I want to have, want to play this Tactical Command because that would allow me to activate uh, Tempest's power on everything. And it's irreducible. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna we're gonna do one ally uses one power, so I'm gonna activate my power over here. That's gonna do two cold damage to everybody. It should be noted now, however, Omnitron is now impervious to any more cold damage until the start of the next turn. But he does take the two damage. In addition, any after any hero deals fire, cold, lightning, infernal, or radiant damage, add one token to this card. Now, the thing that I'm not too sure about is whether or not this is, because I did that one, two, three, four times, does that count as four instances of it? Uh, which seems to me like that would be overpowered. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Um, but let's do a quick check anyway. Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse. Ritual Sanctum. Not Ritual Sanctum. Uh... I'm on a website called TakingTime.net. Yeah, I don't think that that's really helpful. I'm going to assume that it's I'm going to assume, because it's going to take a little while to look that up, it's it's just simply... any After any hero deals fire... Yeah, I'm going to assume it's it's just 
That's it. Like that, it's just going to add the one. That was one instance of the power adding damage. That's it. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my power uh, over here. Since I've played a card, I can now do, use a power. Oh, I forgot to put that under the start phase. So that would have been helpful. Doi. Uh, I can do one target, uh, target one melee damage. Sorry, two melee damage. Uh, and over here, I'm going to be able to get another two damage off of this. Uh, what I'm wondering here is how much damage do I need to do to ensure I want to take out both of these devices if I can. I need to take out three here and three here. And I need to do three up there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do one target, two melee damage. I'm going to do that to uh, the autonomous drones. That was my power. End phase. I'm going to destroy up to two cards. And for each card that I destroy this way, that'll be two different grenades, two different targets, one projectile damage each. I'm going to go ahead and hit our weird dude over here. And I'm going to go ahead. Do I really want to? No, because he's still targeting the one with the least damage over here, and that's still one of these dudes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit um, each of these for one. Actually, I'll go ahead and hit this target for one. I'm going to go ahead and hit them both for there. All right. Sorry. Uh, and then that was my power. So I've done power. I did the end phase. I skipped the draw phase. I'm going to do the draw phase now. Now it's all set. Sorry. Fanatic, uh, play. Prayer of Desperation reveals the top four cards of the deck. Put any item or ongoing revealed cards this way into your hand. Discard the other revealed cards. Um, anoint allies is plus one damage dealt by allies. But I then either have to destroy this card or deal myself three fixed damage, which is not a great thing. Oh yeah, we're doing final dive. Final dive, destroy one non-character target with four or fewer HP. Well, that's gonna be this dude right here. So long. That goes to the trash. Uh, the Fanatic deals one target X projectile damage, where X is the destroyed target's HP before it was destroyed. Uh, so that uh, target HP was three because uh, it had gone down by three, so I can do three damage somewhere. I think I kind of want to do that here on Omnitron so we can continue to whittle down. So he's now down to 93. Uh, then finally, I can deal one target melee damage and radiant damage as part of my power. I'm going to go ahead and hit Omnitron that way as well. Now keep in mind, Omnitron would now be immune to cold pro melee projectile uh, is that right? Yeah, because I haven't hit him yet from Bunker. Uh, it would be projectile, cold projectile, melee, and radiant. So I have to keep that in mind. I then deal myself one fixed damage and then draw a card. All right, and then uh, we go on to our good buddy here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and deal, since we haven't dealt lightning damage yet, we're going to do a one shot and may destroy one ongoing card. So I think what I want to do is destroy this one. Yeah, I think we're going to destroy this one because I don't want to destroy environment cards in play. Uh, and then deal one target, three lightning damage. We'll go ahead and hit Omnitron with that. So now he is also immune to lightning. I think, yeah, 88 is where we're at. Uh, deal each, now I can activate a power. Uh, Tempest deals each non-hero target two cold damage. Well, that's going to hit our good buddy over here, unfortunately. Sorry, dude. You got caught up in the cold. But you still got one hit point of damage left. 
Uh, this character will get hit for two more, uh, but still have one left. And then Omnitron is immune to cold this rent this turn simply because of the ability that one of the uh, ongoings gave him. So that's a bummer. Uh, we probably could have gotten rid of that, and then I think that would have negate that ability. But I think we're fine with this as is. I'm I'm good with uh, I'm good with that. I'd rather do that than have that be the be what kicks in. I know it's it's a little crazy, uh, but then we get to draw a card. And it's another ball lightning, so that's going to be helpful. Now we go on to the environment. Uh, the environment, we draw. There's no start here. Uh, plus one to all damage dealt, plus one to all HP recovery. And then if we activate this, uh, we get to destroy a card. And we're going to put this down here, I think. So we do these in order. Uh, all right, so we go up here. Uh, this dude is going to deal 5 melee damage to the character with the least HP. That'll be this drone thing. Uh, I don't think I remembered to count each time that I was doing Cold, Lightning, or Radiant. Uh, even though I used my power twice, uh, the first time I counted it for one token, the second time I think it counts for one token as well. And... I did lightning damage at one point, and I did radiant damage. Uh, and I think those are the only ones that are covered. There's also infernal damage, but unfortunately that's not going to count here. All right. That's going to look nasty. Uh, over here, randomly select one card under this card. Each target associated with this takes three fixed psychic damage. And uh, psychic damage has not been used yet, so Omnitron is vulnerable. Uh, Alexa, roll uh, a six-sided dice. I rolled a six-sided die and got three. Okay, one, two, three. I would have just simply re-rolled. All right, so now this feels like a good card to get rid of. Uh, Omnitron came up. That card is not going to get trashed because it's actually going to get played. But Omnitron is going to take three fixed damage down to 85. And this is an ongoing, so that'll be in play. Uh, and then finally, that's it. So now we're going to the start phase of the villain. Start phase, discover one device card. That's ongoing, ongoing, ongoing device. Play phase, flip the card. Then we play a card as soon as we're done shuffling. It's going to be another ongoing. Uh, activate the Exterminate in each Villain card. So, Omnitron does two hero tar uh, deals the two hero targets with the highest HP, three projectile each. So, I hear what you're saying. Why didn't you take that card out? You could have taken that card out. Yes, you were absolutely right. I'm the dumbass. Omnitron deals the hero target with the highest HP, three different damages. So... Oh, and it's plus one damage each, so technically she's down to 12, minus one more for that. She's actually at 11, and he's at 15. That's not good. Uh, deals three energy damage to the hero target with the lowest HP currently. That is going to be Fnatic. So that is going to bring her down to seven. Uh, the highest HP for lightning damage. That's going to be Bunker. We're taking a lot of damage this time around. And four projectile damage to the two heroes with the largest projectile damage. This was brutal this round. It's that one, that extra point of damage is just messing me up. I'm at 11 now, so this is not looking good. That is the end phase. We're going to go on to the Start phase, uh, put one card of top part of your deck under this card. Then we get to play a card. Uh, we can destroy one. Uh, we can try to destroy one. I mean, this is going to be hard. Uh, we can't really destroy... We may as well use one piston punch to do three damage there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna just focus on this dude over here. 82. Because the fabricate power doesn't really matter to me. 
Then we're going to deal one target two melee damage. We're going to hit Omnitron again. This brings him down to 80. No longer has that variable defense thing going on. Uh, and then we draw a card. Uh, end phase, destroy up to three cards this way to, and we're going to go ahead and do that. We're just simply going to go ahead and get one more here to bring him down to 79. All right. Oh, and that was plus one for each damage, because I'm an idiot. So that should be, that should have gone up to four. The play card got four. This was a, this was now three. So that's one more damage. And then that was one more damage. So 76, they're actually at 76, okay. This one shot would be great if I had multiple powers. Unfortunately, I don't. I could deal myself four damage, but I think that would be really stupid. Uh, Prayer of Desperation. Actually, this is going to come into play. Uh, reveal the top four cards of your deck and place any item or ongoing cards revealed. One, two, three, four. So unfortunately, a lot of them, uh, this is a one un, one unshot. Uh, and then play up to two cards. Well, we're, that seems so great, we're gonna do it again. Uh, let's see, item, ongoing, and then we get rid of the one shots. All right, so I can still play two more cards. Uh, we're gonna do We're going to do Wrathful Destri Distri uh, Re Retribution. Basically, it's dealing one target X Radiant Damage, where X is Fanatic's maximum HP minus her current HP, then bury this card. So if I can make it to the start phase of the next turn, which is not entirely likely, I will basically wallop that for like 30 plus points. Um, And then Brutal Censure, I could activate. That would basically make it so this card has no game text. So I can't do, I think, this character. Does it, will it have character written on it? That that's really the best thing to go with. This is what I feel like I want to go with. Sacrosanct Martyr doesn't feel to me very useful. Anoint Allies would be good. It's plus one damage dealt by Allies. Honestly, I kind of feel like it should be this one. That's going to keep me from actually getting destroyed. So I might survive to the next round. All right. So I don't do any damage, but I do get to activate my power now. I'm going to do two uh, damage, two melee, two radiant, and then deal myself two damage. So we're going to do that on this dude, and that's going to bring him down to 72. And I'm going to drop down to 75, or 0, 05. All right, and then I draw a card. Yay. Okay. Next up, you may destroy one ongoing card, and I'm definitely gonna do that. Uh, the ongoing card I'm gonna destroy is gonna be this environmental card, which I know is probably seems kind of stupid, but at this point, it can't do anything but hurt the rest of us. Uh, the bigger problem I'm seeing is that this needs to be down to five. Otherwise, it's going to really be a problem. Uh, so Tempest is gonna get a card to their trash. Uh, this is gonna get a card to their trash. I'm going to get a card to my trash. And that card's going to get this destroyed. Uh, I can then deal a, a target three lightning damage. It actually becomes four. So we're going to continue to focus on knocking down Omnitron as best we can. 
and then I get to activate a power. I'm going to do each target two damage. Um, that will actually take out that thing that I was hoping would actually take that out, um, unfortunately. But I got to go with it. So this is now gone. And this is actually the first time I'm doing any damage, I think, this round. I did three lightning damage to start, so I get a token there. I'm doing some cold damage now, so that's going to be one more. Uh, and then we're adding two over here. And this is actually going down to 65 because I just realized it's plus one. All right. We could also choose to destroy the card, but this uh, destroying the card would have had to have happened before I did all that damage. Uh, and I kind of want to keep the damage going. Now we're going to play uh, an environment card. Um, oh no, that's right. That's right. I'm still in the middle of my turn over here. Sorry. I'm going to draw a card. And now if we choose, we can choose to discard. And I think we're going to. I'm going to get rid of this Flash Flood over here. Uh, she is going to get rid of Sacrosanct Martyr, because she's got a copy of that. He's going to get rid of Emergency Shields, because he's got a copy of that. Uh, which means that we can destroy this card. That's the start phase. End phase. One shot. Each target deals itself two fixed melee damage. Destroy one environment card. Damn it. That means this card gets destroyed, and we don't get to activate that extra power. And each target deals itself two melee damage. So two melee damage here, two melee damage here. Uh, yeah. We're no longer dealing the plus one. I'm down to six here. I'm down to three here. That's not good. And I'm down to nine here. All right. Start phase, discover one ongoing card. Go, flechette. Ugh. Hate flechette. Uh, flip. And we're going to activate Fabricate. If there are more than three ongoing cards, which there are, uh, destroy one villain ongoing card. We're destroying this one because I hate the ongoings. I hate that card. Uh, each of us have to now discard a card. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. I don't think that that's going to be helpful. Um. End of days always feels to me like it's... I don't understand it. Uh, and I guess we'll get rid of upgrade mode. All right. Until the villain start phase, after Omnitron is dealt a type of damage, it becomes immune to that type of damage for the rest of the turn. Um, which, by the way, I just realized that does not go from hero to hero because each hero is its own turn. I screwed that up. Um, if there are more than three villain... Oh, this is the same as the other one. So I can get rid of this last one because there are more than three. And bury the top card of each hero's trash. So each hero's trash now goes to the bottom of the deck. Which is not that bad. This is actually pretty mild. Uh, finally, the Fabricate on the last device is going to get activated. I forgot to play a card, too, I think. So that should be in play. That's going to hurt. Uh, dam negative one damage to device, which I think are the blue ones. Yeah, minus one damage here and minus one damage here. So this is a problem because this will actually do sort of stinging damage and I need to take it out first. All right. Hero's gonna go, uh, Bunker's gonna go. Start phase is put this under here. 
What I could do is I could target this for three melee damage. I don't get to put this under here. And then I could do fourth damage. What the problem is, is that's going to cause four, me, four melee damage and nearly kill me. Not to mention it's negative one damage to device cards. So I don't feel like I'm going to get anywhere close to what I need to get. That device is going to mess me up here. And I do not want to go another round without actually hitting that. So what do I do here? I'm going to play this. This is going to help prevent two damage uh, and still allow me to survive. Now I can do use my power to do tar two, one target, two melee damage. Uh, I will go ahead and hit this target over here. It's only going to do it for one, unfortunately. Uh, and then it's going to cause stinging damage. Uh, two melee damage back, but that is negative two to the damage dunker would be belt. Uh, as a reaction, so I'm good there. I could now, if I wanted to, uh, try to destroy up to three cards, but I don't want to. I actually want to hold off on that, and I'm going to draw an item. All right, over here for Fnatic, uh, start. I'm going to deal one radiant, one target X radiant damage, where X is Fnatic's maximum HP minus her current HP, then bury this card. So right now, that would be 27 points. Of radiant damage. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. That's going to knock this character down to 36. I am going to be dealt 2 damage. So I'm now at 1. This card gets buried. That's my start. I can now play I can't decide if non-character target would include the device over here. I don't think character was specified in here, so that is actually an important distinction. Okay, yeah, that uh, only includes the heroes and the villains. I can, I can definitely target this. This is going to be ongoing. That's my play card. Um, and then I'll just simply get rid of it before the start phase. But now this character has no ability. So we can ignore that. I'm going to go ahead and hit. Uh, he's going to take that out. I'm going to hit this for one damage. And draw one card and regain two HP. And not have to worry about the stinging anymore. Then I get to activate my power. Well, I'm going to do two more damage over here. Um, I think it's zero. I, I'm probably playing fast and loose with the way that damage is referenced here. And then take this. Concentrated ground is going to be great. I should have actually taken a look at that. Um, but I've, I could only play one card. Uh, destroy one ongoing card. Teals up to three targets, one radiant damage each. That's going to be very helpful, I think, if I survive that long, which is not entirely likely. Um, I 
I'm going to play Thunderclap. It's going to allow me to do two, one target, three lightning damage, uh, which gets reduced to two, but we'll do that over here. And uh, then we get a power. We'll hit this power. That's only going to do one damage to each of these. But it does destroy the Electropulse Explosive. Now, because this is in order, this came out, its, start, its Fabricate is no longer in play. I think that counts as two damage, but I'm not going to do it... Because it does say until the villain start phase. It does not say anything about being destroyed. So I think... And unlike this, where we're just simply ignoring that, I think that that is uh, important to remember. There are no other targets uh, except for Omnitron himself, so he's going to drop down to 34. All right, and I get to draw a card. Now we draw an environment card. Hopefully it'll be not bad. Uh, discover two ongoing cards. Each hero draws one card. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, beak, appendage, ongoing, ongoing. Okay, and then we'll shuffle the rest of this, uh, except we also get, each get to draw a card. We're holding on. We're holding on for dear life here. The problem is that this is going to be pretty nasty coming up. And we still have to do these two ongoing cards. All right. After this card is played, destroy all environmental targets in play. So unfortunately, that was the first one. So that's not going to affect this one. Uh, ooh. All right, so this is going to be interesting. So the end phase here, uh, since we've now played, we go to the end phase. Destroy one villain ongoing card. All right, uh, looking at this, We're going to get rid of this one because that causes the most damage overall. But then we also have to get rid of an ongoing card over here. Uh, so we're going to destroy this card because now I get to do up to three tar targets, two sonic damage each. So say goodbye to the assault drones. And we'll do more damage over here. So this is 32. Because that, that activated when it got destroyed. So that was actually very helpful. Holy cow, that was helpful. Uh, now, uh, end phase uh, for the other card is that we play everything in order. So Omnitron's going to play a card. This is ongoing, so it won't have any effect. But I hate that card. I really hate that card. Uh, then we'll play the top card of this deck. This is, uh, after this card is played, summon one item card. Uh, you cannot use powers. But that's okay. We're not in the middle of my turn, so I don't have to worry about that now. So let's take a look at what items we want to bring up. I think we want to bring up... Now, summon, I don't believe, is the same as play. Uh, no, I take that back. Search the trash and deck for the indicated amount of indicated cards. Play the cards found. If you search the deck, shuffle it. Well, we searched the deck. We found it. We get to play it. Now we've got a new ordinance thing going around. That is going to be useful. I hope I live to see that long. Uh, Fanatic gets to play the top card. One shot. Uh, deal one target two melee damage, and then use up to two powers. Well, so I think, because this is the only target, we're going to drop this down to 30. Uh, and then we're going to use our power ones to drop this down to 28. These are way too close together and deal myself one second damage. Then Tempest gets to go. It is a one-shot. Reveal the top card of each hero deck. Replace any non-item cards revealed this way. Play any item cards revealed this way. Each hero draws one card. Well, all right. So, uh, not an ongoing, not an item. Uh, so this gets replaced. It is turret mode. Good to know. Ongoing, limited, not an item. Not an item. 
Okay, that's unfortunate. And then we each draw a card. So we all we know what we're going to get because we just did that, which is unfortunate. All right. So that was the end phase there. That was all the end phase. Uh, now we discover a device. Disintegration ray. Device. Drones. Ugh. Freaking drones. Okay, and then we shuffle this. Uh, flip. And then we get to play a card. Uh, another device. It is more drones. This is potentially going to kill us. All right. We're going to deal the target with the highest HP, three damage total. That is going to be Tempest. Uh, deals three energy damage to the hero with the lowest HP. Uh, however, this would reduce Fanatic to zero, and thanks to this lovely item she has here, it gets destroyed, and she regains 10 HP. Uh, with the highest HP, X toxic damage, where X is the number of ongoing cards in that hero's play area, plus one, so two toxic damage. Uh, two hero targets the lowest HP, with the lowest HP, two melee damage each. So that is going to be Bunker and Tempest. And then that's going to happen again, and it's going to be the same two characters. So we are definitely on death's door here. All right, but that is the end phase here. So now we go on to the bunker phase. Uh, at the start, I've got a whole bunch of the stories here. Um, we're going to put the top card of the deck under this and under this. Oh, and that should I should have subtracted to at some point earlier as a reaction. So I should be at four. And I don't think this gets to, I'm gonna destroy it anyway. I think it got destroyed in that last one. So we're at six. All right, sorry to muddle that. Uh, we then have to destroy that card as part of our start phase. So we've got two ordinance things here. We get one card to play. Lintel, Lidar and Tell is interesting. I'm going to do Piston Punch. That's just basically do three damage on one of these. And unfortunately, it's not going to really do much. I then get to do two melee damage to a card. I'm going to do it over here. And then I can choose to, if I want to, use the two cards under here. Um or under here. I'm going to do two more damage over here. I'm trying to take out these drones as best I can. So I'm wondering if this is really the best thing to do. Let's let's pause here for a moment. Let's undo all this damage. We're at 28 right now. Now if I wanted to, I could have bunkers solely focus on Omnitron, right? And I would be able to take out three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points bring him down to 19. Uh, over here, I'm going to destroy that card. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to play. I'm going to get to destroy an ongoing card, which is really good. Uh, and then deal three up to three targets, one radiant damage each. Which feels to me like the only thing that's really worth doing. Uh, two... This power allows her to do seven damage, and I feel like that's got to get played this round. That would be huge. That would bring it down from 19 to seven. I don't think I'm going to be able to get everybody... I, I don't think I'm going to get Omnitron down to zero, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus my attention on the droids, keeping in mind that each of these will take two damage at the end of it. So I, my, my goal is to get each of these up to five at some point. So I am going to do the Piston Punch. 
for three. I'm going to do the melee damage for two. I'm going to use both these cards for two more. And I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to basically expend every, one, every bit of my ordinance. I take that back. I can't do that one yet. So we're going to take those away. Because that's a power. That's not a... Uh, that's not an end phase. All right, and then I get to draw a card. That would have been helpful before. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play this card. It's destroy. No, no, I, I can't do that. I got to do the power thing. Item relic. And also, I have to get rid of that. So that's a new power. It's one target, three melee damage. So I will go ahead and target this drone here, which means both of them will get taken out on this round. Uh, and then I will deal two fire and two radiant over here, bringing Omnitron down to 24. Uh, and then I get to draw a card. Okay, so over here, I'm going to play this. Reveal the top card of each hero deck. Replace any non-item card revealed this way. Play any item card revealed this way. Uh, this is ongoing, and so it just simply is going to get drawn. This is a one-shot. This is just simply going to get drawn. This is not an item. It's just simply going to get drawn instead. All right, so that was kind of worthless. But now we're going to deal two damage to everything. So that's going to knock that down to 22. And then these drones are taken out as well. Okay, on to the environment phase. Oh, and I forgot to draw a card over here. There we go. Okay, uh, start phase. Each he One hero may discard two ongoing cards. If they do, destroy this card. So I think what I want to do is I want to discard over here. Uh, oof. These are good powers, but the I need the cold damage, I think. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll take the sacrifice. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna hold on to these. I don't mind that. I, it's gonna get rid of a villain ongoing phase, and I think that that's actually for the best. And then play the top card of the villain deck. Play the top card of each hero deck in turn order. Uh, however, we may discard one card if each active hero does destroy this card. Do we want to destroy one card each, or discard one card each? Let's do that. Righteous Rebuke would be nice. I think Undaunted is one I'm going to get rid of. And then over here... Uh, I'm going to reclaim from the deep. All right, so that is down. Out. So we completed the start phase. We now play in a card, uh, Appendage. So we're going to do, deal the non-environment target with the lowest HP, 5 melee damage. Now I really wish I had one of those turrets to hit. Uh, destroy one villain ongoing card. We will go ahead and destroy this one, the Flechette Launcher. And destroy one villain ongoing card. So that's going to have to be this power card, which really sucks. Uh, and then the one with the lowest HP is actually going to be Tempest. Crud. He's going to get knocked out. That's a, that's a bummer. Okay, so now we're on to the villain phase. Uh, start phase, discover one ongoing card. It's a device, ongoing. There we go. We flip, and then we're going to play a card. And then we're going to activate the fabric. Uh, we also play that. 
All right, so the fabric the fabricate phase is not that bad. Until the villain start phase, after Omnitron is dealt a type of damage, Omnitron becomes immune to that type of the damage for the rest of that turn. Uh, if there are more than three villain car ongoing cards in play, destroy one ongoing villain card. However, neither of these are going to come into play. Uh, finally, each device card regains one HP. Big deal. Shuffle the villain trash uh, into the villain deck. And honestly, I don't mind this drone being active, but we do have to destroy it before we can actually win. So that's something to keep in mind. I think we're now going to snicker snag all over uh, Omnitron. All right. First thing, tactical command. One ally uses their power. And Fnatic is going to go ahead and hit hard. She gets to hit 7 HP. Now we get to use... Oh, and I forgot to do our start. Uh, start there. And start there. Uh, for the power phase, I could go ahead and do 4 damage here or do 2 damage here. I think that that's a no-brainer. We'll do 4 damage and we're going to do it on Omnitron. Bring him down to 11. Uh, then I get to draw a card, and then in my end phase, I can get rid of this for one more damage. Which might not seem like much, but now it's down to 10. Now we get to go to here and play a card. Yep. Uh, one shot. We are going to do this. Uh, we're going to do one target, two melee damage. That brings Omnitron down to eight. Then I get to use up to two powers. Uh, I am going to deal... Use this power for seven. Yeah. Uh, this power for seven... Oh, he should actually be at nine. I keep forgetting that the fabricate on the um, that Omnitron is himself a device. So this makes it a little bit easier. We're going to hit Omnitron for seven total. And I'm just a little worried that I might have duplicated. That was projectile energy. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Yeah. Projectile, energy, melee, fire, radiant. Those are five different types of damages that hit Omnitron that turn. Uh, this turn, I'm doing melee. So, yeah. Unfortunately, um, I should be back here at five. But I can take out three damage here. And that's something I screwed up. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, and then I get to... I don't know why I put that in the, over here. Finally, I get to draw a card. And then strange. Each hero, one hero takes their play phase. One hero salvages one item card or discard the top card of each deck. You may bury one target card played this way. So the question is, do I have a play that would end this? And this is a new turn. I can do four. No, that's, a, that's not it. I can destroy an ongoing card and then I can deal up to three targets, one radiant damage each. Which is not enough to end the game. But I feel like I need to take out one of the ex one of the rays. Yeah, we're going to do this. 
we, we yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna destroy one ongoing card all of these are gonna be three HP no matter what but we're gonna destroy this uh, and then deal three targets one radiant damage each so Omnitron is now down to four and this device is now down to three and that's the end of the, the Tempest's turn. We now go to here. One hero may discard two ongoing card if they do destroy this card. I don't think we want to do that. We have no ongoing cards in play, so we can't destroy any. We do get to destroy one villain ongoing card. So that's going to come out at the end phase. That's going to come out in the end phase. Don't forget that's the end phase. Start phase, we're going to ignore. One shot. Each target deals itself two fixed melee damage. Destroy one environment card. That's an easy one. We're going to destroy that. Uh, that's going to go down to two. That's going to go down to one, four, seven. Almost wiped out. That is a one shot. Now we go on to the end phase. And we're going to get rid of this. Okay. Start phase. Discover one device card. This is where we could really get screwed. Okay. Uh, assault drones. Flip. Now play a card. Another device. <sighs> so now we do the turn. Uh, exterminate. We're going to deal the hero with the highest HP three damage. She drops down to seven. Uh, each device with the lowest HP regains three each. So he's going to come back up to five and he's going to come back up to four uh, two melee damage each to each of these characters and then two damage from this last oh man so close oh, that hurts that hurts we were so close to winning. Like a different card here would have made all the difference. Like if we had gotten this instead, right? An ongoing card. Like let's say that it that one difference there. Let's see how close we would have gotten. We're at two and two. Play the top card of the villain deck uh, on fabricate, but on exterminate, it's destroy one environment card. Play the top card of the environment deck. So that gets played destroyed and then this gets played. This is Beak. Negative one damage dealt to this card. And then we go to here. Uh, and this is now, I'm not saying that this is the win, but I'm just saying three and three. Or both of those get one. Uh, May as well play this. We get to activate two powers this time. Uh, plus one damage dealt by Bunker. And so that means three damage dealt from the melee damage here. So we'll go ahead and target Bunker here. Uh, in addition, I can activate this power and do three damage from here. That knocks out the Omnitron. Uh, that was for the power phase. Then I draw, and during the end phase, destroy up to three cards under this card and do... Basically, it's going to be one more damage. Uh, over here... Uh, we'll do this one shot. Uh, actually, do we want to do the ongoing? Yeah, I think this is going to do it anyway. Fanatic deals each non-hero target one radiant damage. Each hero target regains one HP. So we're back to three and three. If I have fewer than 10 HP, which I do, deal up to three targets, two radiant damage each. Then as my power, deal one target, three melee damage. That'll take out this device. And because I'm a 10 or fewer, deal another 4 damage over here. 
that'll take out this device. And that is the difference between winning the game and losing the game. That one card made the difference. So at least I feel a little bit better about that, but it does feel like it does feel like there really wasn't much difference between me playing good or bad. And I think that's been an ongoing feeling as I've been playing through these. I really, I really want to like this game. I really do. Um, and it is a card game, so some luck is going to be involved. But I feel like I might be missing something. I feel like I might, maybe it's just a matter of getting better at playing these characters and understanding what's in the deck and what my options are. Um, but I, I enjoy it. I really do. I enjoyed Omnitron. I thought this was a lot of fun to battle. I thought it was an interesting back and forth. And I'm sure I made mistakes somewhere along the way. Uh, we are going to do one more game. We have the Matriarch to deal with. Uh, and she, her arch nemesis is Tachyon. So I'm actually going to include Tachyon in the mix for the next one. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that tomorrow. And until then, do all the YouTube things. Click like, click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later.